MAGFest 2020, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. MAGFest was a multi-genre convention held from January 2nd through 5th, 2020 at the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center in National Harbor, Maryland. Let's see how the convention did. For the good, MAGFest gets the registration pickup right every year and having guidebook right every year. No question about that. MAGFest also has some of the most unique selections of pinball machines I've seen. Retro arcades are far and few between actually getting some time on the machines is really, really awesome. There's so many good pinball machines, Star Wars, Star Trek, and all the other ones in between, and a lot of them do continue to work throughout the weekend. MAGFest always has a good selection of unique arcade machines. This year they had a full F-Zero setup. Coors Bowling is a simple but fun game. They had a choplifter machine, which for me is kind of rare, maybe not so rare in the community, but I very rarely see them, and it was a nice treat. The Saturday concerts are definitely the heart of MAGFest. Power Glove almost filled the room. There was a ton of people for Power Glove and the band after them. Uh, just the Saturday concerts are definitely the best MAGFest has to offer. We don't have attendance numbers to confirm this, but MAGFest felt a little less crowded this year. I mean, there was never really an impassable crowd at the gazebo. Downstairs was never particularly impassable. It just felt like it was easier to walk around this year. So I'm interested to see the attendance numbers when they come out. For the bad, what was absolutely terrible was the hotel lottery. I have no solution to fix this. I don't think there is a right solution to fix this. The only way you can get a room here is you got to put bodies in the queue when the hotel pool opens. There's no way around it. You have to have bodies and you have to put them in there. It really, really sucks you have to do this. It's a tremendous drain of resources. But man, getting a hotel from MAGFest is just the biggest gamble in the world, and it really shouldn't be. I'm not sure how you fix it, though. It just plain sucks. For the ugly, what should have been better? I believe the lobby bar concerts are obsolete. Yes, it's a unique little thing they do every year. Yes, you get to see acoustic performances. You get to see smaller performances, more intimate. But the problem is, it's crowded. Really, there's nowhere left to sit. It's time to look into putting this somewhere better. The staff do try really hard to keep the machines functioning all weekend, but there's several holes. The X-Men machine, which seemed to be broken every year, they pulled an all-nighter, got it working, and it broke before the end of the con again. An issue I had with the Choplifter machine was it was not set to free play. That machine was turned on all weekend, and even complaining to the staff, it only actually functioned for one day completely. Yeah, it was sitting there, it looked on, but there was no credits loaded in it. And I brought that up to staff, and they didn't seem to do much about it. So it's a shame, but I'd like to see better reliability in the arcade. On paper, the new arcade room, which was located at the museum, probably wasn't a bad idea. But the issue was it was poorly executed. Not enough signage. It separated those machines out. You couldn't be sure what machines were in that classic arcade room. This would be one of the few times I'd like to see it moved back into the main arcade. Or they're going to have to just put up a whole bunch of signs telling people classic games are here, not here. Oh, MAGFest merchandise booth, I seem to have a problem with you every year. Here's what I'm going to say. They need more registers. The simplest thing is they need more fat guy sizes. Yes, I understand it's a risk to make fat guy sizes. We're talking 3X and 4X. Make more of those shirts. You're going to sell them. It's a MAGFest demographic. Every year I go, every year they're out of 3X. Yes, I'm a fat guy. I wear a 3X. I buy 2Xs in merchandise just to have it. But seriously, make a few more 3X shirts. You're going to sell them. Seems like they sold really well this year. I went to get mine on Friday and they were out. They need to up the Thursday concert game. A lot of my friends were commenting that the concert lineup was not particularly strong this year, and Thursday really showed it. Seemed like a lot of the bands on Thursday were very, very specific to certain genres. Attendance was pretty shaky on a lot of those. They need to sort out their Thursday band lineup next year and get it a little bit stronger. Because Friday was okay, Saturday rocked, Thursday just didn't meet the grade. Overall, Magfish 2020 was a respectable year, but something felt a little off. I'm not sure what it is. It might have been the weaker concert lineup, but it felt like it was a little less crowded. The weather was good, which shouldn't have affected it, but something was just a little bit off. I'm giving the convention a B-. Yes, it's down a little bit from last year, but, you know, MAGFest was fine. It was a good weekend. It's one of the most relaxing conventions I attend throughout the year, just because you do what you want to do all weekend. It's fun, but something just wasn't there this year.
Thanks for watching.